And Tyler, we have taken Alabama Live outside. Thankfully, we have some cover and a little AC because you are right. It is hot on my way out here. You just break a sweat when you step outside. It is smoldering out there. We are in the Elmore County School System's food truck, and they are using this to promote their summer reading program. This is the brand new food truck. It's called the Hot Spot, and it's going to serve food at local libraries throughout the summer. Joining us now, Casey Davis, Nutrition Director for Elmore County Schools, and Kelly Wright, who serves as a food truck manager. Thank you so much for joining us. This is a fun idea. Yes, thank you for having us. We're so excited. This has been a great addition to our programs and what we're able to do for our students in Elmore County. How long have you had this food truck? Um, since November. We've been testing it in, in operation since March. And so we, we're excited to start back the school year, but also for using it this summer with our school our summer meal programs. How do you use it throughout the school year? Um, our target audience is our high school students. So the plan for this upcoming school year is to visit each of the high schools once, once a month for a week. And we'll also visit the middle school and elementary schools as well throughout the school year. But just serve you know great food truck items, barbecue items that they're not accustomed to, to always having in the cafeteria. You're using this to promote your summer reading program. How is that going to work? Um, it's on Wednesdays and Thursdays. We are partnering with our local libraries, Wednesdays at, with the Wetumpka Public Library, um, Thursdays with Millbrook, and we just park outside the library. Um, it's in conjunction with their programs, and we offer a great barbecue meal to our students um, that, that want to come out. All children 18 and under are eligible for a meal at no charge. Callie, what all are you making? What all are you serving this summer? Uh, well, we are doing brisket tacos. We're doing pork ribs. We have done pulled pork before, and we do cheeseburgers. The brisket tacos is what we did today, and it's one of our kids' favorites. All right, show us how you put this together. Yes, this is a great um, slaw recipe. It has fresh Alabama grown peaches. They were actually picked yesterday from a farm, Smitherman Farms in Chilton County. Boozer Farms delivered them for us. Um, so it's jalapeno peach slaw. So she is adding um, some slaw mix, the fresh cut peaches, some peach juice, um, some seasoning, salt and pepper, um, buttermilk and mayonnaise um, are the base but it's just a delicious slaw to accompany the brisket tacos. And then of course some, some grilled fresh corn from, from Atalga as well, from um, um, Mr. Judson Hill Family Farms in Atalga. I love that you're using local ingredients. Callie, how much do you try to use those local ingredients? Uh, we try as often as we can. So anything that we can do to help the local farmers and also be able to introduce new or fresh produce to our children. The fresher, the better. Is that part of this too, making sure they get a nutritious meal? Yes, yes, a well-balanced meal. All of our meals are in compliance with USDA regulations, and um, we try to offer as many fresh products as possible. Um, we're, we're working towards going back to many from scratch recipes in our cafeteria. Um, that way we can control the ingredients that go in into our food um, and just encourage our students to try new things. What are the locations you will be at this summer? So this summer we have we have locations at all schools, but also at our libraries. So the hot spot will be at the Millbrook Public Library and the Watonka Public Library. And who able, who's able to come and get this food? Any child 18 and under. So. How important is that we hear about that gap in the summer where children aren't getting those meals at school? A lot of them, that's the only meal they get throughout the day is what they eat at school. How important is it to continue to serve them throughout the summer? It's very important and it's one of the goals of our school board and our superintendent and our district as a whole. Um, you know, there are gaps in learning during the summertime, but also, you know, their, their nutritional needs being met. So we try to reach out to our community during that time and make sure that our students, any that need it, and now this is for all children, so so no matter what their, their economic you know, background, are eligible, but it is important for them to have access during the summer months. Reading, writing, math, that is all yes. so important, but so is nutrition, because if they are not fed well, they're not going to do well in school. Right. The first step to, to learning is making sure their basic needs are met, and that's what we try to do with, with our meals. Where can people go to see all those locations and to learn more about um, the food truck? Um, our Facebook page is one of the best sites to find, you know, up to the minute updates with our program, but also um, elmoreco.com, the district's website. 
Well, thank you so much. I think it's incredible what everyone in the education system does to reach our children beyond the classroom. This is another way to do that. That's the finished product. That looks so good right there. And I, I'm going to try that here in just a second. We'll have more Alabama Live after the break. Stay with us.